we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright As you just saw I have started to get back into the routine of doing a little mini workout in the mornings I started off very easy today I just googled at home Pilates with no equipment um, and I did a 15 minutes Pilates which was good not too strenuous um, but enough to get me back in the swing of things obviously we've been doing our walks and a lot of lifting and moving around the house so I don't feel totally unfit but um, good to get back into the practice of doing a morning workout. Just about to now do my makeup for the morning and I thought I would try something new. Uh, these were sent to me recently in a blogger mail, it's a company called Bolt Beauty. They are biodegradable capsules, vegan and cruelty free um, and this is their Glow Don't Shine Serum Capsule. I have been getting very shiny in places lately especially on my t-zone and these promise to stop that so i thought i would try one today and see if they live up to their promise they smell lovely it's like a, a minty um spa like scent and it does feel very mattifying a little bit like those um silicone primers but i don't believe there's any silicone in here so now i'm going to pop on some moisturizer my usual makeup and then today i'm going to be doing a little bit more sorting in this room up here still a lot of cases to unbox and i have received some new rails um like the rail that i had behind me when i was filming in the old house from a company called little deer they have the most beautiful rails i always get so many questions as to where my rose gold rail is from and it's here little deer so i'm going to set these up and hopefully get a little bit more organized with my clothing <laughs> Okay, so makeup is done and I have just spent the last hour and a half since doing my makeup pottering about. This house just lends itself to faffing, there is always something to tidy um, and yeah I just let the last hour and a half get away with me so I need to do something productive so I feel good about the start of the day and so as I mentioned I'm going to open up the new rails and see first of all where I can put them because I do want to leave this room as clear as possible so that I can more clearly plan what's going to be happening in here next so yeah let's get cracking <laughs> So I have successfully put up the first rail here and I will be undoing a few of the bags which are currently draped over the um, banisters to fill this up. With this second rail I think I'm actually going to do it in the bedroom downstairs or the room downstairs which is going to be the pink room because if I do want to film any fashion videos I think it'll be in there so I thought it'd be nice to have a rail there just to have a little bit of a normal kind of filming background. <laughs> around in here and the rail is now behind 
me here. Um, I thought it's quite convenient to put it close to this door because that is where it can get moved into um, if and when we need more space in here because eventually we are going to be putting a little double bed in here. I say little <laughs> because we've become so accustomed to sleeping in a king size bed and then we're getting a super king for our bedroom so a double is going to feel very tiny but I think guests will feel very comfortable in this room and with it being a double it shouldn't take up the whole room because I do still want to be able to do a bit of filming in here. I just went downstairs to make myself a coffee as well and Charlie and I have been looking at this company on Instagram called Pookie Lights and I would really, as much as I like these, I would like to get some much more stylish lights in here because when this room is painted pink, I think the lighting can make such a huge difference in the room. Um, there are five light fittings in here and Pookie Lights are premium, let's say, so it's not going to be cheap to get new lights in all the bedrooms, but I think it's going to make such a difference and it's a good investment for the overall beautifulness of the rooms. You're using your herb scissors, darling. Yeah, they're not actually foolproof because it oh. gets stuck. Yeah, that's a bit of a bad design. What if you were to do it sideways? Like that. Or like that. Yeah. Nope. No. <laughs> yeah. Not foolproof. So while Charlie is preparing breakfast, I'll show you some of the lights that we've fallen in love with. Apologies about the crackling egg noise in the background. Um, so there's, oh, I've just realized my Wi-Fi has logged out. There we go. Um, yeah, they have the most beautiful wall light designs on here. I'm sure they've also got, yeah, they've got pendant lights and lamps as well, but nearly all of the lights in this house um, are like this. So we have to look at the wall light options. They are the perfect mix of just being absolutely beautiful, but also being quite antique -y. Obviously anything modern in this house just would not work. There are so many stunning designs, like look at this. You can really imagine this. Even if we were to go really bold in a room, like get really dark green panelling, I think it would look so opulent and kind of Soho House vibes to have some lights like this. Um, some others, some that I really, really like are these ones here. I think in the bedroom, they are stunning stunning aren't they um perhaps with a slightly more ornate fitting i think that would be gorgeous i love these i think these are these are similar to the ones that you showed me from lydia and ali's house in their bathroom these ones oh yeah they are yeah i like those they are very good for bathrooms yeah i think they may be in fact let's take this into the downstairs bathroom and just have a little bit of a, a visualization thank you oh to be continued. I've just been told that brunch is served. Oh my goodness, eggs on crumpets. That looks good. Cheers, mate. Okay, that was delicious. And now in the bathroom. So, um, yeah, this is the current lighting setup. It is, they're kind of like little antler wooden horn items, which I don't hugely dislike. Oh, I don't know, I think maybe that would be a little bit too modern in here. Hmm, not too sure about that. Maybe we should keep to the lamp shade style in here. Not too sure, but we probably couldn't get um, the antique brass fixtures because the, um, the fixtures on the sink, etc. are silver. So maybe we do need to keep something neutral. Perhaps if we just got some new little hats for the lamps, that could make all the difference. And as soon as we are able to, we are going to put um, a lovely, I think it's an antique brass mirror up on this wall. The whole bathroom smells so lovely because of these Brownlee products. I think Charlie and I need to become Brownlee ambassadors. We just are so obsessed. And then we also have the room spray in this cute little nook and also a Jo Malone fragrance. I always think it's nice to top up your perfume when you visit the Lou. And these lovely flowers were sent to us by Charlie's brother George and his lovely girlfriend Petra um, during I think the first week that we were here and they are only just starting to turn. They've done so well. And then we've got the most gorgeous Neom diffuser in here. This is one of the marble designs with the rose gold and it just makes the room smell absolutely gorgeous. So after that brief interlude, I'm back upstairs and I'm going to be trying to organize this clothing section. So the new rail 
from Little Deer is down there and it's a little bit taller than the rest but um, I'm also going to put some things on here which are going to go on the rail downstairs. I might film a what's new in my wardrobe video because there are a few new pieces that have crept in lately so let me know if you would like to see that or if you just want me to include it within a home video because I know that so many of you are just loving only home content right now and you don't want me to go back into fashion content but I do miss it so let me know if you'd like to see a what's new in my wardrobe. Um, but yeah other than that I'm just going to start putting stuff that's currently flung over the rails onto the actual rail. A million people in the crowd, but I only see your face in all the lights. And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby, I really want to make you mine. I don't really care about love. I don't really care about happy. We are looking pretty good. So this um, this is the majority of my hanging clothes. I say the majority, there are still a couple of bags which I've put in another area which are mostly like deep winter coats and things like that, which I'm sure I will not be needing for quite some time as we are moving into May and hopefully the summer months are upon us. So I have done a little bit of organisation. Down here are new in things which I'm going to take downstairs. Then we have got some lovely dresses here. I definitely need to order some more hangers because I I don't know why it just really upsets me to see these black plastic ones in amongst my lovely pink and rose gold ones so I need to order some more hangers I think um, I can get them on Amazon at the moment I used to get them from Primark then on this rail here we have got all of my knitwear not gonna lie this is what I'm mostly living in at the moment so it's nice to have it all in one place and I might even when it's a rainy day next week do another wardrobe clear out because now that I'm seeing it all out like this as opposed to tucked away in wardrobes it makes me realize that I do have even more duplicates and things like that than I thought I did. Then on this rail here it's looking a little bit chock-a-block and messy. We have got blouses, we've got skirts, um, shorts and trousers and then some more jackets. These could probably get put away but um, I don't think it's going to hurt to have a few different jackets out on display. So let's go back into here. Um, I'm not too sure actually what's in these suitcases. It could be my clothes, it could be Charlie's, and then we've also found a few more boxes. I'm pretty sure these are filled with shampoos and conditioners and things like that. So then I can put them into the organized boxes um, and maybe store them in the bathroom so they're out of the way. Sitting in the sunshine. I don't perform for the camera. I've told you this before. Speak, Speak to, to my, my agent. agent. <laughs> Speak to my agent about my fees because I don't perform on camera. Yes, you do. Shame camera Yes, you, is, you do. Where is he? Oh. Hey, you love this little spot. Why are you You're so that under funny. There? Is there some underfloor heating under here or something? No, I think they like it because it's just shaded and out of the way. We can't badger. We can't we pester can't you. Someone. You're so funny, my little bunny rabbits. Goodness me, I love you. Right, darling, what did you want to show me? I never thought I'd be so excited about cutlery drawing, sir. <laughs> Come through. Dear Lord. The whole gang's coming. Right, what have you been ordering? So this is from a company called East Coast Kitchens and Bedrooms. I have ordered and paid for this. This isn't something we were saying. But, and they weren't cheap, but they're solid oak, and obviously our kitchen is oak. So, this is Ooh. for the sharp knives. Mm -hmm. Now, we, I have lots of lovely sharp knives. One or two of them I might display, but we agreed that a knife block's quite ugly. But you shouldn't store sharp knives together that when they're touching, because they can blunt each other and damage each other. So ah. that is for the sharp knives. Right. Plus it's safer when you're reaching in, you're not going to yes. yourself. And this, they do all sorts of um, dividers. I couldn't justify doing three, but I think we need one for the other drawer as well at some point. Mm. When we can afford it. Oh. So now you're going to fill your cutlery drawer. Yeah. That is quite satisfying having a perfectly <laughs> organised drawer. 
This is such a well-rounded vlog. I've just been organizing my fashion collection and now you're going to organize your cutlery collection. Clutter? Clutter stresses me out, but I mean clutter is probably quite stressful for most people. So this is what I'm on about, pretty knives. This is a company called Blenheim Forge. I bought this as a treat to myself a couple of months ago. They make them in Peckham. Um, I mean, they're just stunning. Yeah. They're expensive, but they are stunning. Yes. And this is a Spanish brand, Polares, and these are an absolute bargain. So the complete opposite. This is the knife that I cut myself oh, with yeah, on the first day in the house, and my finger has only just recovered. But I can still see a little cut there. If you want to um, start your knife collection, that's the brand to start with because they're a bargain. They're and they are entry level. seriously and sharp. sharp. The only thing is, you, if you if you do get them there, I think it's because the steel hasn't been treated. Um, they get like what's called a patina, so like a pattern and colour. The more you use them, doesn't really offend me. No, but if you leave them wet, they will rust. Right. Right. Are you going to lose subscribers after watching me? <laughs> no, I think I'll gain some. What, watching me organise a cutlery job. So. I hope I did my measurements right. Me too. Oh yeah, I did. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Um, I don't know, it probably goes that way. Yes. It? That does look good. I mean, these aren't custom sizes. The, the one that was bigger than this was too big, if I remember. Right. And then, this one I want to, I do want to put these no. ones on display somewhere. Do they go like that? Yeah. Yeah? idea with those ones. I do think this one's gonna have to go somewhere else because it doesn't really work in there. Brad knife. See that instantly makes me happy. Doesn't it? <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah it does look that good. That was my uncle David's knife, he sadly passed away. But it's very special to me. Um, okay, these can go up here. Strategy now. <laughs> well, what do we use the most? And you want that more accessible, don't you? Ah, mm -hmm. oh, these don't fit. Oh. Put them at the side. Put create a create a wooden, probably nearer to the arm. Yeah. Yeah, it's perfect. Oh, ah. Ah. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I've had a shocker with that. You plunker. Um, oh, that is a bit annoying. That is annoying because it could have been longer. I know. Could you have made it longer? Oh, how bloody that's, annoying. That's, that's disappointing. That is I don't think I could have. Um, what's the solution to that? Well, that fits. <laughs> These ones will. Well, I think we'll just have a few there, yeah, won't we? Yeah, it's not that it's bad. Not the end of the world. Um, Yay. That does look good. I'm honest, I think I got a bit carried away with wooden spoons. Yes, I think you did, darling. Many. They're so pretty though, aren't they? Um, <laughs> I think these can, that can go in there. This, this can go like that. I just need to keep it looking like this. A bit messy. Dickie, if you get in this photo, I'll we'll improve it instantly. <laughs> Daddy, I don't, I don't photobomb. If it's one thing you've taught me, photobombing is not appreciated in this house. <laughs> So the cutlery drawer is organised. We've got the knives, we've got the wooden spatulas and spoons. Olive wood, this is olive wood. Olive I think. wood, very good. And then this is coconut wood. And then you put the super sharp ones at the back. Yeah. Do you use them regularly? Well, no, I've just put this at the back for now because when, when I have completed my Blenheim Forge collection, yeah. they are going to go on display here because they are so pretty. <laughs> uh, there's just three more knives that I need, which will probably take me three years to afford, but yep. that, that's a special knife. And now it lives in a special place. You really shouldn't hang out near the dry knife sticky. And 
that knock at the door was a very exciting Dyson delivery. So Charlie and I have got there, well, we've got so many things from Dyson um, and we are huge fans, but huge fans. Hey. <laughs> um, but we needed a bigger, stronger vacuum cleaner because we have got two doggies and the house is of a certain size that the battery on the little handhelds just wouldn't really do for like they're a deep pre clean. They're pretty good though. The, 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 no, the, the, the Dyson, are they called, and what are the, what are the wireless ones called? Animal. Yeah, the Dyson Animal, I have to admit, the first model that we've actually bought way back when, yeah. it, the battery was quite limited, but the new one, 20 minutes, which for whizzing round a house is pretty amazing. No, I think it's 20 minutes at the non-eco mode. I was saying that the reason this is an absolute game changer for us is that we are putting a gym in to a small garage that's on the property. That will be a fun project that we're going to document, but we are probably never going to get heating in there. There's electricity, but we're not going to get heating. Mm -hmm. So we will be able to turn this on via Wi-Fi on the app at, say, 5.30, 6 a.m. And then by 7 a.m. when we want to be in the gym, it will be nice and warm. Game changer. Fantastic. I'm really now quite interested in what this is, actually, Daddy. Yes, I actually know James Dyson. I, I actually came up with the idea of the original Dyson vacuum. That's why it's called the Dyson Animal. I know. They wouldn't let me call it the Dyson Dexter. And, and James Dyson, he, he took the idea and he, he took it off me. Yes. I, I've been in legal battle for a while. Yes. You are such a clever boy! Very clever. This is going to pick up all of your hair. Your Even my bottom hair. All of your bottom hair. Squidgy. Yeah, we did have a Dyson, didn't we, a while ago, the, the normal animal. But we've never had one like this before. Mm -hmm. Will he actually bite you? Yeah. I think he would. Stop biting me well. So my glamorous assistant is going to show you what is in the box of the Dyson Animal 2 Plus. So this is the, <laughs> the main device here. Um, you've got the rollerball down at the bottom which makes it super easy for manoeuvring under sofas, around fireplaces, into corners, etc, etc. This is the, um, the main vacuum head. So I'm not actually too sure what this does. Um, probably this bit, I'm not too sure. Charlie's going to read the instructions. But this is great for both carpets and hard floors, which is going to be amazing in this house. And it's specifically, ooh, I bet that switch. So that just clicks on here. Look. Yeah, it brings that up. And then also in the box, you get this ginormous um, kind of Ghostbusters style prong. That's going to be great for getting up on the beams, up in the fireplaces and things like that. And it has got a little bendy swivel cord as well. And then you can put all of the attachments on there. Well done, super easy. Uh, this is another extension. So again, great for high ceilings, great for cobwebs and things like skirting boards. This will also be fantastic for like doing the windowsills and things like that. This is almost like a mini vacuum. Um, 
I think it's called a mini turbine. So it'll be great for doing furniture. We can do the sofas with it, AKA areas with lots of dog hair. Um, not too sure what those are for. This I think was called the stairs tool. So another even minier head, great for doing your stairs. You could also, you can pop that on the end of this and it makes doing the stairs a lot easier. Or maybe that was a stair tool. Not too sure, so many gadgets. And then I've no idea what this one is for. I need to watch some Dyson tutorials online, but it looks like a real feat of engineering. They've clearly thought about that a lot. And another extender, this one is gonna be especially good for spider webs because it's on a long um, item. And then it's got the brushes on the end. So let's see if Charles can figure out how to attach it. It was a team effort, but we have constructed the Dyson animal and it's very clever actually. So you actually have a lot of your attachments um, on the cleaner with you. So it's got the, what I'm gonna call the spider web attachment and the stairs attachment. You literally have all your accessories like dangling from That's the Dyson. That's brilliant isn't it? Because they always do an amazing array of attachments, but I'll be honest, you don't want to have to carry a handbag, a yeah. Well, the attachments end up in a cupboard and then you're like, oh, I can't be bothered. And then you like, try and use the hoover for the stairs. Yeah. Check this bad boy out. Flip up. Boom. And then it's the handheld. That's genius. When you get used to it, it's genius. That Should is go. one insane yes. design. Let's do it. Absolutely that incredible. Is a game changer. And the thing that I also like, which I bet a lot of people can relate to, relate to, yeah, um, is okay, so you're hoovering around. Then you get to steps like this. And I don't know about you, but I would be tempted to do this and lift it and do the steps, which is not good for the machine. But instead, turn it off, take two seconds. Take this bad boy off, stick that on, locked in. Boom! And you know what's shocking? I thought our lounge carpet was clean and that is how much dog hair and dust mm. we have vacuumed up in the space of three minutes. Wow. And we're breathing that in. Yeah. That's actually really satisfying seeing how much rubbish has come yeah. out of our carpet. Well, and then you know, the next step. Yeah. Oh, that is so easy. Boom. And you don't even have to touch the dirt because doesn't it come out like a... Come with me. <laughs> Have you ever seen two people get so excited about a vacuum cleaner? It's amazing, right? Yeah. What a lovely day. Glorious. 
And the best thing is, we've learned, you can stick this in your garden bin so you don't clog up your regular bin. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Right, hold it. Hang on. I need to get it around the right way. Um, and then you just... Ugh. Shut the lid. I'm good. Boom. We have got some 14th century dust in this bad boy. I cannot believe how long I've just spent vacuuming the house, but that was so satisfying. Cheers, mate. Which one is that? No, no, no. So you uh, you pull the black thing at the top on the handle, the red thing, sorry. No. This? Yeah, you just push it in. So lean it over and just push. Ooh. Wow. There's a lot of spiders in there. Oh, I don't know. Okay, oh. you just clip it on, clip it in. Here's your new pal, Dexy. Mummy, don't be foolish, it's a chicken. Just a mid-afternoon snack of some cheese and crackers, which I'm going to enjoy on the patio. Well, you've got a very healthy afternoon snack. For you. I don't want to talk to you today, thank you very much. We really don't want to talk. Ah, oh, a little sheep bottom. I agree with you. Oh my goodness, so sweet. Just relaxing with my children. Oh, that is pure. Come on, little ones. That's a lovely orchard down there, isn't it? Hey, baby. You're so cute. You're so cute. got back from our walk and Charlie would like to show you one of his blogger mails for today. What have we got, darling? We have got something rather special from one of our favourite brands, Molten Brown. Um, they've been very generous. So they've sent through, um, I've not actually tried this before, Coastal, Cypress and Sea Fennel. And these are the hand wash and the hand lotion, which are obviously amazing for bath your bathroom. Mm -hmm. I always like to put these in the guest bathroom or like the, the downstairs bathroom because they're just so special. Yeah. And then I am going to admit that I am obsessed with reed diffusers. You are. So I do love the neon ones, but these are also something quite different in terms of scent. 
and that this bottle is quite like masculine i would say for your office room well this one is my this one's my favorite scent so i've not tried this before that's ginger lily which is a bit Ooh. more feminine it's very fresh mm. so maybe for a downstairs bathroom however the black peppercorn oh that, that sounds... is immense so that to be fair gorgeous. that's i keep mentioning it it's a good month away but father's day that's yeah. an epic gift and smell this this is oud accord and oud gold wow look at that smell it oh <coughs> my goodness immense that just smells expensive <laughs> that is absolutely gorgeous yeah it smells lovely and then there's one other i mean they've been so generous um this is the other one which is orange and bergamot oh, i've got the uh cologne of that that is just super fresh let's so see the red diffuser for the that's one to save for the summer wow absolutely gorgeous thank you so much morton brown yeah. you have spoiled us our, our house is going to smell, smell immense divine So my new in rail is getting populated slowly but surely. I've just popped my jacket on. Um, Charlie and I are about to go for a nice evening walk in the garden. It is about quarter to eight right now and it's my favorite time of day when it comes to lighting. The low golden sunshine just shines down the garden and it's absolutely stunning. We like to take a walk around with the dogs, discuss our gardening plans um, and hopefully it's gonna be beautiful over the next few days as well so we can get a lot more gardening done although we are starting to run out of things we can do um without visiting a garden center so we'll see but i thought i'd round up the vlog here so i can get it edited and uploaded and ready for you to watch tomorrow so darlings i hope you enjoyed it do let me know your thoughts on a fashion video and i'm going to be putting a question box up on the old house our home instagram page tomorrow um so the day that this video goes live with a q a box so if you've got any questions please um upload them in the instagram post on old house our home and i'll be answering them with charlie in an upcoming video but yeah that's all from me for today darlings i really hope you enjoyed today's vlog and i will see you tomorrow for another one good night